Why are you letting these people start in, in this in this state? I came to you for help because these people had 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 operated in in the uh, wrong way. As as I've been said to you before, I wonder why the governor let these people operate in the state of Florida and break all the laws necessarily to break. Such as a caseworker there called Anna Coon. But the first caseworker was uh, Potts Rogers. She had the case first beginning. She looked. Her no lies and false allegations caught up with her. I told her her lies are going to catch up with her. And they did. They caught up with her. And Coon, you should take advice on this too also. Because you are, your lies and your false allegations is constantly, you just constantly with, with a bunch of it. You witch hunt, you lie, you think everything is a joke, your threats, the harassment, the constantly pick, 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 pick. You don't even, you don't have no respect. You don't even know me. I'm a grown man. I'm not no child. You don't disrespect me. I don't disrespect you, but you don't disrespect me. But you always disrespecting me. And I don't say shit to you. You always talk about so I'm threatening you. I never threaten you. I don't know where you got it from. I don't know who you told us. I don't know who, who was the person called you and threatened you, but it wasn't me. I wonder what kind of threat I threw at you. I'm going to put it like this. If I want to do something to you, I'm not going to threaten you. I'm just coming down here and whoop your ass and get it over with. There won't be no threat. It'll be the ass whooping you get and then it'll be over with. Excuse my French. Yeah, that's what it'll be. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to waste a sweat on you. I'm not even going to waste a perforation on my arm on you. Because your life is going to catch up with you. Because you just constantly, constantly pick, pick, pick. They hand you a case and every, um, on, on the case, on the case when my daughter done told the truth and told the truth, what you do every time you go in the courtroom? Yeah, I, I don't know where it's at. Yeah, I don't know where it's at. I don't know where it's at. Yeah, I don't know where it's at. You always got an excuse when all I, when the judge asks you for the for the uh the, the uh, other other part of the case. You don't know where that at. Every time you go in the courtroom, you do the same thing every time. Now that judge should be smart enough to know that you you playing around and you been picking, pick, 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 pick. pick. And to kick that case off. Let them kids come home. Them kids ain't stupid. You hold them kids hostage. They don't told you they want to come home. What more can they tell you? Or well, you just can't understand English real good. Or anybody down in Fort Myers, Lee County, just can't stand English, period. Need somebody speak a little German, probably blue français. I who 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 hell or whatever. Or maybe somebody speaks uh, still Spanish to you. Memorial Day weekend for forty only get ten dollars. I'm still angry. I'm gonna I'm gonna constantly be angry because you keep lying. You keep running that courtroom and lying, and you want to put somebody kids of adoption, so you want to put some money in your pocket. So I, well, I put I put uh, Mrs. Williams' kid of adoption, so I give me a couple thousand dollars, and I can go out there and shop and drink and whatnot. Anna, you know what? We know what you be doing. I ain't gonna tell you how we know, but we know what you be doing. I know also that you're out there too. You can see it. I'm not blind. And I'm grown enough. 
I'm going to speak, I'm going to speak, I'm going to speak, talk enough, in school talk enough, to know what the alcohol look like. Hit a great deal on the Amelia, all letters up, now $799. Governor needs to do something about you people. He need, he need to do like the other governor in uh on uh, uh, in our west. Get rid of you. Your boss and all of them. Because neither one of them know me. And you don't know me. And you will sit down there and, and uh and sit there and talk about me and whatnot. You don't know what the hell I can do. <clears throat> How you think I made it this far? Where I'm at now. Now I'm gonna put no aggravation like you. I have a roof over my head. Them kids had a roof over their head. They had a roof over their head before they even came with me in the yard. Food in their stomach. Clothes on their back. When, when Pops Rogers came in that house, I was on my way to uh, pick, the, pick my grandmother, granddaughter up, up at the bus stop. So how can how, how, how come she wasn't at school when I was on my way to pick up at the bus stop? Huh? Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. When the lady from DCS used to come to the house, I was on my way uh, or we, when she was going to school. And I was on my way to pick up at the bus stop. No, I didn't know that either. Yeah, well, you do that. And far as Tina, far as, far as Tina, uh, the problem up uh, in Philadelphia, that wasn't her fault. That was John Haynes. John Haynes was beating on my granddaughter, sexually uh, abusing my daughter, and beating on my, on my daughter. Duh. Yes, he was. Because the people from, people from my family service called down here and asked me, can I come up there and get her? Because she didn't have the money to get back here. Duh. Yeah. Now, uh, Georgia, some ass w white uh, call, call in and I would beat my daughter in the street. And they came in the house and woke, woke me and her both up and found out that was a lie. Duh. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah. There's a lot you didn't know. A lot you didn't pay attention to. It goes in one of your ear and not the other ear. Because you're too ignorant. You're too stupid to pay attention. Somebody try to tell you something, and what do you do? I give me a bottle. I give me a bottle. I believe you do. I honestly really believe you do. I really believe you do. I really do. Because you don't know what you're talking about. Neither one of y'all know what y'all talking about. You know, when I wanted to come down to court, you was like, no, nah, we don't want to talk to you. We don't want to talk to you. We don't want to talk to you. But all of a sudden, all, all of a sudden, that was, all, all, all of a sudden, you know, when I, when I, when I come up, when I come up, they want to say something. No, we're gonna keep him shut. We're gonna keep him not shut. We're gonna keep him not shut. I said he threatened me. Right? Ain't that what you said, Ann? Ain't that what you said? I'll say that warned. So he walked up in the courtroom before he even just said something. Arrest him! Arrest him! What do you think I'm stupid? You think I'm dumb? Not going to happen. You going to pull a trick on me. Oh, a lot smarter than that girl. A lot smart. And I don't play dumb ass games. No, I don't play dumb ass games. Yeah, you didn't want to walk up in that courtroom so you can get, so you, so you can get, to, get to the police. And make up a real good excuse so they can take and hold me over so until the court's over. And then you can, uh, you can say, well, I want to cut. No, uh-uh. No, don't. No. 
Uh-uh. No. I'm not dumb. I'm not ignorant like you. I like your boss. All the rest of them. I'm not ignorant. You ignorant. You stupid. You play little games. I'm not gonna play no game with you. Because I don't play my kids' lives. Like you do. It's a game to you. There's no game to me. I said reality. Reality is my life. Reality. Every day. Reality. And I don't have to go around threatening you. I don't have to waste my time or break a sweat with threatening you. Please. Who in the hell want to threaten your little skinny butt? Excuse my language. Who in the heck wants to threaten you? You are nothing uh, other than just a skinny little worm and, and don't even know what. Please, it's because you went to college. You were you to know so much, do so much. You ain't done nothing. You don't even have any kids. All you even find in, in a book. What's in a book is not the same thing in, the, in reality. Face the reality with, 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 with a child. And then you say you've done something. So then you ain't done nothing. You're one of y'all. You ain't done reality. Maggie, Michelle, and Chelsea, they know reality. They know that I love them. Their mama love them. Their aunt love them. Their uncle love them. Their cousins love them. They know we will stand by them and pick us in a death of line. They know we will be there. Could you do that? Hell no. You'll make an excuse real quick. I think you've been making excuses with the mother kids up there. How many kids are yelling and lost and made excuses? How many excuses? There's been so many kids that died in Fort, in Fort Myers and, and all, all, all up and down Florida. I don't, uh, uh, I don't, I don't like what the mother people did, did to their kids, but, uh, I got a feeling y'all behind the whole situation why people be treating their kids the way they do. I don't like what they did. I don't know what they did. But y'all did, y'all, y'all responsible for it. Yeah, y'all, y'all the ones. You know, people shouldn't have to do what they did with their they kids. Because it don't make no sense. I love mine too much. But they ain't hurt them. But people's had hurt theirs. Because of y'all. Because of y'all had interfered with other people's lives that you should never did. And people are going to start interfering in your lives. I would not be surprised that I hear something worse happen to you. Anna, I hate you so much with passion. And, and I, can, I, I can't explain how much I hate you. I cannot explain how much I hate you. I never hate nobody much as I hate you. I mean, I hate you. God, I hate you so much. You know, I'm serious. You mean you made my life to turn old, old. I don't even trust nobody. I don't trust nobody because you and your people. I don't trust nobody because your lies and everything else. And then the one eight hundred phone calls. Hey Amen. Who knows? I'm, I'm telling you, you people better, better open your eyes before y'all make them damn phone calls. You better realize what you're doing. I'm serious. You better realize what you're doing, cause you know you you not even hurt that person. You hurt your own ass. You making a real enemy. No, you you hurt you not hurt them. You hurt your own self. You hurt them kids. You hurt them kids real bad, brother. You think you're doing, you think I'm doing something good, doing something good, but you ain't doing nothing good. You're hurting people. Think about it. 
Think about it. Governor, you need some good. Please do something with this. Because he did, I swear. Before I, I, before I even came to Florida. I mean. Trust uh, me. Before I came to Florida. I mean, like, uh, they were okay. They were okay. I only left the city because I didn't want. I didn't want to raise my kids in the city. I wanted to come down here and get to know my, know my other, other part of the family. I wish I hadn't came down here. I honestly do. Wish I had never came down here. If I knew it was gonna be anything like this, I would have never came down here. I would have made a U-turn and went a different direction. You said Florida. <laughs> Man, I'm, I am so, so disgusted. So much full of hate. So, this, this thing, this thing, this, it just turned, it just turned me. I'm serious. If anybody, anybody I know asked me about to say, I would tell them never. Don't come here. Don't come down here. Don't come here. Go anywhere else but here. Don't go to Fort Myers. Don't go to Lee County. Don't go anywhere in Florida where you know you get your family taken from you. I need to shield my kids. No, you don't need to be. I have to hear the details. I did not hear in a peaceful manner. That's gone. That is gone. That is definitely gone. And to then, there ain't gonna nothing change my mind. Nothing's gonna make me feel better except my granddaughters and my family. And I don't need no Anna telling me how to live or breathe or, or, or anything else. Because she can't do what she wanted to do. She wanted an adoption. She, need, she didn't go have a baby and put her kids up adoption. They need to put their kids up for adoption. That's what they need to do. Put their kids up adoption. My, as far as my daughter, she's not taking her kid. She been taking care of them before they, they got on that, that, that um, before y'all took them away from her. She was doing a hell of a good job. Damn hell of a good job. And there's people to back her up. She just they can't come down here in Florida. Nobody got no money when running back and forth to Florida. And she ain't, and she ain't got no Hollywood money. We running. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, by the by the way, Governor Hannah Coon also had my daughter come all the way down to Fort Myers with a promise that she won't give my daughter a place to stay. In a hotel, so she go to court. She lied about that. My daughter wound up staying in the street and wind up in the hospital. She lied. They ain't did nothing. We put her in the street. They ain't try to do nothing for her. We put her in the street. I wanted to apologize for what? They ain't try to do nothing to help my daughter. They ain't trying to do jack. Okay, even before we move from there, they ain't trying to do nothing. I don't even know what to say. But two threats. Threat, 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 threat. Threats. That's all it is. Constantly threats. I wrote you letters. I'm trying to get your help. What do you do? Call them. And what do they do? Not a damn thing. Well, you put my back against the wall, I know that much. I don't know what might happen. I never know. God knows, though. God knows. So I'm going to leave this like that. So anybody, if you got a comment on Facebook, or where I put this at, if you have a comment, I want to hear it. I wish I could give me a better lawyer, because I would sue the hell out of them. All the harassment, all the harassment, 
and the threats and everything else. So I can have my own, own case, but um, they ain't gonna let me do it. They're trying to keep keep everything hush hush. Why you can't keep everything hush hush? Afraid to face afraid to face to the truth. Is that what it is? You can't face the truth. Face the truth sometime. You 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 understand.